forcing many there to flee to the roofs, among them babes in arms. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Shady Shade, the one and only guys, Ich bin Shady Shade der Enzige. So guys, I heard about some flood that hit Germany, some flood that just hit Germany by surprise. Guys, that's so crazy, so, so crazy. My heart goes out to all the Germans out here, okay? My heart goes out to all of you, okay? In terms of happiness and joy, I'm here with you. In terms of pain and troubles, I'm also here with you, okay? Take, do take heart and my sincerest condolences to those that have been affected, guys, okay? Uh, without saying too much, guys, let's just check out this video real quick. Um, I got a few clips out here. Let's check them out. No way! Woo! I thought that was a flood. It scared me, you know? Really? Germany? You guys have floods like this in Germany? No way! No way! The whole place has turned into swampy grounds! Oh my god! Is it like a dam broke or something? Jeez. No way. Look at the cars. Wait, where in Germany did it flood? Oh my god, at least 120 dead and hundreds unaccounted for. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the town of Erfstadt Blessing in West Germany. There were landslides as well. It chopped off the road. Wait, does this happen often? I thought they would say maybe a. Oh, look at the water in the hole. Ay. I thought they were going to say maybe a dam broke or something. After days of torrential rain, rain that neither the rivers nor the ground can absorb, mm. the next stage was almost inevitable. Flooding on a biblical scale across great swathes of northern Germany and moving now inexorably into Belgium. Not steadily rising waters that give people time to reach dry ground, but raging yeah. torrents. Raging as well. And there's little anyone can do. Look at what happened to this caravan. That's the power of what Germany has been confronting. Oh my god! The village of Schuld, south of. Oh my days! Cologne has the misfortune to sit in a bend in the river at the head of a narrow valley. When the waters came, they swept many houses away completely. Seventy are missing. It's not yet known how many dead. I just checked the news. It says 120 dead and hundreds missing. Oh my day. So sorry to hear this. My heart goes out to the families that are affected. In fact, my heart goes out to all Germans. These are hard trying times. In Bad Munster Eiffel, the waters swept through with the same force and left behind visible evidence. 
of what they had swept before them. And further north in Wuppertal, the rain wouldn't let up even as the rescue services worked to protect and evacuate. The man who governs this state is Amin Lachette's favorite to take over from Angela Merkel in two months' time. His chief challengers are the German Green Party. No wonder he was talking up climate action today. We will be confronted with such events again and again, he said, which is why we need to go faster with measures to protect the climate. Mm. Before this water can escape to the sea, it must flow north through Belgium and the Netherlands. The mayor of the Belgian oh, city man. of Liège has pleaded with any citizens who can leave to do so. Oh, Here man. in a suburb of Liège called Chenet, firefighters have needed boats to pluck residents oh, from upper story so, windows. So sorry to the hear this, moving waters of the river so just before it joins the Meuse show the jeopardy they're all in. Before they reached Liège, the waters had hit the town of Pepinster, forcing many there to flee to the roofs, among them babes in arms. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. They had to climb up to their roofs. This is crazy. Whew. Has this happened before? Is this like the first time ever? Because this is mad. Unbelievable, bro. Germany, of all places, Germany, you know. I mean, I've never heard about flood in Germany before. Rescue. There is much talk about People how on much the it roofs. will cost to tackle climate change, but while they talk, the cost of not tackling it is rising inexorably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing could have prepared the residents of this German village for what happened here, for the torrent of water that engulfed and destroyed their properties. The water has receded now, but has left much of Schult in ruins. In home after home, they are clearing up and trying to take in the scale of the damage. How far the, did the water come? Uh, this year, so. Margaret Radamacha takes us into the house she's lived in for over 16 years. 16 also, years. It's an absolute catastrophe. There are many people who've been affected. Many houses don't exist. The full extent isn't yet known. Flood water shattered building after building in Schuld. Residents have lost their lives, and power mm. failures overnight left many frantically trying to contact their relatives. Mm. Andreas Muller had to wait hours to learn his in-laws were safe. Overnight they were upstairs and it was dark because there was no, um, um, no light, no, st no uh, power. And um, yeah, there was also no phone connection, so we tried to get reach them all night and it was very hard um, to get them. The house they've lived in most of their lives is uninhabitable. Everything on the ground floor destroyed and every neighbour around them is confronted by the same awful reality. People here had expected so flooding sad. but say they never imagined the sheer force of the water that burst through their village, destroying homes and businesses and leaving hundreds here without power, gas, electricity and clean no water. But the rain and the floods have impacted way beyond this corner of Germany. Homes in eastern Belgium are also underwater after record Belgium levels as of well. Rain. Some properties are now too dangerous to stay in. Belgium as well. Oh. Luckily, I have my sister, but now we've been told that our house could collapse and so we've had to leave. Oh. Letitia Collins shows us how far the water rose inside her property in Envisal. Eventually, her family were forced to leave. Around 4 a.m., the water's... Really sorry about this, guys. Really, really sorry to hear this, you know. My heart goes out to you. Guys, we need to pray for Germany. We need to pray for Germany in these times. It's really, really hard trying times, okay? We need to come together as one race. Pray for them. Help as much as we can started rising from over there. I told my partner and we were able to move the car out and quickly move a few things upstairs. But then we had to go as the waters rose so quickly inside the house. As we left, the water was up to here on me. Roads and transport links have been affected across a wide area. And with already sodden ground, the worry is about more rain to come and what that could mean for many thousands of people. Oh my days. Oh my days, you see the rain and flooding 
of biblical proportions like when they say biblical proportions like when the bible talks about the rain fell down and um like washed away houses washed away things like the time of noah when they when the rain filled the whole earth that's what we talk about biblical proportions like the rain came with no mercy and the flooding the flood just i mean it's not just no more flood it's not like it was flooding and the water was just like that still the water was flowing did you see how it destroyed the caravan that's so crazy i didn't ever think that germany had crazy flooding like this and they said that for years and years and years things like this have not happened but guys like i said my condolences to you okay my heart goes out to all the families of those affected my heart goes out to all germans guys we need to pray for germany we need to pray for germany because this is a really really hard time these are hard times those that can help you know anyway guys please do help okay we need to come together as one human race and help ourselves out really sorry to hear this guys anyways me about shit shit one and only one and only guys okay you do take care of yourselves guys please stay safe stay safe those of you that are in areas that are susceptible to flooding i think right now it's time to just move out and look for safety okay go to safe places i trust the german government are gonna sort this out i really really trust they're gonna sort this out okay but yeah one more time my heart my thoughts my prayers goes up to you all right guys take care of yourselves love and peace out